Welcome back to this very special episode of Hot Ticket, where we're remembering the life and legacy of my former co-host and friend, Graham Stapleton. I'm joined now by world-famous movie star and friend of the show, Eric Pope. Eric, thank you so much for coming tonight. Sure. Hey, I uh, like the beard you got going on there. You grow that for a role or? Nope. Just my face. <laughs> All right now, Eric, you've been a guest on this show a staggering 18 times. That's the most in hot ticket history. Been that many? Yeah, I had an intern go back and count all the times you showed up. I guess my question for you is, uh, don't you have anything better to do? Well, I have to say it was really for Graham. I mean, he was such a towering figure in the world of film. We lost a unique and special voice when we lost him. I know that I lost a really good friend. Hey, you and me both. Why don't you tell a little bit about how Graham affected you personally? Absolutely. I actually first met him when I was a guest on this show. I was out, I was doing the press for uh, The Dark Detective. Oh. That was a great film. Grossed over $500 million worldwide, first weekend. Yeah, Graham didn't like it too much. He told me that right to my face. I, uh, I remember I respected the hell out of him for it. We became really good friends after that. He would always come to my house or we would go on kayaking trips or just watch movies. Dude, he did love movies. Couldn't help but notice that uh, I was never invited on any of those kayaking trips. No. Anyways, um, Graham was always trying to turn me on to like Honduran movies from the 50s or sometimes like a kid from Missoula shooting the whole thing on a Coke can and an iPhone. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds like Graham. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did that on the show too. Yeah, it was a segment called uh, Graham's Indie Corner. He got all the credit for writer, producer, or anything, but I actually came up with that, which is interesting because he's the one who got the big fat raise over it. That's weird. Yeah, uh, it's completely different, too. When I pitched the idea, it was to make fun of these terrible little MD films. It was called The Trash Heap. Uh, we'd show a clip up there, and we'd uh, really rip into those terrible films. Wow. Yeah, some people just aren't good at making movies. Hey, you're right about that. Anyway, we have a clip of your first appearance on Hot Ticket. Excuse me, uh, Lucas? Actually, roll the one that we were talking about in the control room. You know Lucas in the control room? Yeah, yeah, we're good buddies. Yeah, I think we still have it queued up back there, actually. All right. I'll play along. Go ahead and roll it. Welcome back to Hot Ticket. It's time to do a segment called Graham's Indie Corner because for some reason everything we do here has to have a stupid name. It's called branding, Graham. Anyway, this is my favorite part of the show because we get to look at films that might have slipped under the radar. Uh, tonight we're talking about a new film from a local filmmaker. Oh, oh hold on. Uh, this film is called Revelation. Wow, what an interesting title. Okay, Henry, I think you're gonna wanna pay attention to this one. Uh, you might find it very affecting. Uh, let's roll the clip. This is terrible. And they shut up. My voice is deep. Just give it a minute. Oh. Oh. Ducks are back. Oh, okay, here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What is this? Who's that? Hey. That, what, what, what is this? Does that look familiar? Or? No. Oh, no, oh, it oh, doesn't. Oh, oh. This is a good part. Pay attention hey, here. Let's, that's enough. We, we got it. Let's cut it. <gasps> let's cut it. No, that's enough. I think we get it. Look at that face! How did you get that? Well, 
I shot it myself with a little help from my cousin Randy. Uh, Henry, how's your diet going? How could you do that to me? You know my girlfriend watches this show. Babe, if you're watching this, uh, it, it's not what it looked like. Oh, well, unless it looked like Henry was about to blow some dude to pay for some cupcakes, in which case it is exactly what it looked like. That is not what happened. Oh. Hmm, maybe that is what right. happened. He no, could be right. Let's out. take no, a look no, at the no, roll let's not. from it's there and we can see what it's did happen. for a commercial. Suppose you think you're real funny. No, but I know that wherever Graham's at, he's laughing his ass off. Godspeed, buddy. Just gonna walk off? It's real professional. Oh, hey, hey another thing. Dark Detective 2, Darkest Night, Nightfall of the Shadow, terrible. You were awful in it. You weren't awful in it. It was a good movie. You were great in it. But for something that grossed $600 million worldwide, I expected a little more. We'll be right back.